it's important for us to be a light, agile fighting force. And whilst we hope that we never have to be used in anger, we do have to be ready for uh, what comes in a, what's turning into a more volatile, uncertain, complex world. Uh, as we've seen in recent conflicts, it's important we do have capabilities ready that the New Zealand government can deploy as, as is needed. Stand by! To both protect New Zealand's sovereignty, but also to uphold an international rules-based order which we all uh, take part of and, and take benefit from as well. Exercise Brimstone is a joint exercise between the School of Artillery and 16th Fair Regiment Royal New Zealand Artillery. And the purpose of the exercise is to summatively assess and qualify our junior leaders to ensure they're ready to deploy and uh, succeed in operations. So we have our School of Artillery staff, uh, which is about 13 people. We have our students, which is about 20 students, and about 80 uh, extra personnel who have come from 16 field Regiment, and they provide us with the personnel and equipment to enable us to conduct our testing in field conditions. Number two, fire! So the exercise itself is, is two weeks in duration. The second week is focused towards the 105mm howitzer, which is our principal weapon system in the artillery. Uh, that started yesterday and the week we will again see them employ that weapon system by day and by night uh, and also conducting other tactical tasks such as an air mobile operation which we saw today. What we started off with was we moved the gun line into a position and then we conducted what's called an immediate neutralisation mission to uh, engage simulated armoured uh, vehicles. We then moved a single gun via the NH-90 uh, helicopter to another position from there we then uplifted another JFT commander. And was able to conduct another mission to engage a similar target. We then postured the weapon line to a new position where we were able to conduct a blinding a mission utilising the smoke rounds. Fire! To blind a simulated enemy OP from observing a friendly forces movement. Traditionally it used to involve just the old artillery, artillery or cannons in the historical time. But in the modern context it involves so much more than that. So we need to be able to see the target that we're looking into to engage and we still have the traditional method of um, soldiers and officers observing into the target area but we also employ modern systems so this includes like handheld observation devices that allow us to see by day and by night and uh, utilising evolution in technology with um, uncrewed aerial systems as well. <laughs> And the one you saw today, for example, has a range of 30 kilometres, time on station of three hours. So we're really extending the reach of where we're able to see uh, in order to keep our people safe. The Ukrainians were operating a similar weapon system to what you saw this morning, the 105mm howitzer. We've got some world-class soldiers here that are trained to operate that system very well. The New Zealand government saw us as a good solution to go and train those Ukrainians to operate that weapon system safely and effectively. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest New Zealand Herald news. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of these videos and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more news worth knowing.